strengthen it. We almost got the public option the first time. That's as good as Medicare for all anyway. And so That's not what she's saying. Well, but I think you should give her some time. I think that she's not in love with that. I think she, you'll wait and see how that all turns out. So you think she's more pragmatic than... Oh, people. I know she's pragmatic. She's a wait. There, there is a concern. Harry Reid's not buying it. Nor should you. And I don't buy it either. I don't believe the Medicare, uh, that Elizabeth Warren is for Medicare for All. It is not on her website. And let's be clear, Medicare for All is a very specific bill. There's a version in the Senate, there's a version in the House. Bernie Sanders wrote the version in the Senate. As he said, I wrote the damn bills, and he has plenty of signatories on that bill. If I'm not mistaken, Elizabeth Warren is one of them. Regardless of what she says on a campaign stage, ultimately, she's talking about Medicare for All in subjective terms not as a very specific bill she's talking about it in practice the premise when she's debating and arguing it when she gets off the campaign trails she says something else strangely enough none of the other democrats on that stage ever hit her from the left and sanders doesn't do it but this is somewhat of a tact that other democrats on that stage could also they accept the premise that elizabeth warren is for medicare for all and so when they argue about it, CNN would literally start off with Warren, did tonight in fourth debate, in a bill that Warren not only didn't write, but when she's on the campaign trail, doesn't back up. None of the other Democrats said, Warren does not have Medicare for All on her website. And it is unclear on what health care plan Warren is pushing for. So I can't necessarily answer or send a question to Warren's way on this because I have to be honest, I don't know what she's supporting. What plan? All of us have put out our various plans. What plan is Warren supporting? That question is never answered, uh, never asked. That is like a blind spot in regards to democratic pro politics on that debate stage. Back in 2013, when Warren was asked about Medicare for All, she Plan said this. If you were the Tsarina, something like single player health care, government run pay, far yeah. lower administrative costs, that sort of thing, would be the Senator Warren prescription, would it not? And I think right now what we have to do, I'm serious about this, I think you've got to stay with what's possible. And I think what we're doing, and look at the dust up around this, we really need to consolidate our gains around what we've got on this. But you do support single player, do you not? No, what I've got right now, have. Have you not? What, oh, I think you need to go back and take a look at what I've So, her own words, she did not support Medicare for all. She evolved on this issue when it was time to run for president. When asked about Medicare for all, and she's off the debate stage, because after all, she gets on the debate stage and she says, I'm with Bernie. Again, she's speaking about Medicare for all in subjective terms, not in the sense that there is a specific bill of Medicare for all. In reality, many of the plans on that stage may fit under something that Warren may be okay with. And I agree with Harry Reid that she is going to pivot when she gets into the main election. And whatever she pushes for, many of the lemmings and the people in the Democratic Party are going to suck it up and call it Medicare for All. And right Medicare now, for All is a very Medicare specific bill. Medicare for All is not something that is not fleshed out. It is fleshed out. It is a very specific bill. Listen to her talking to one of the people who are asking her questions about why haven't you released your specific bill so we can evaluate it on whether or not we approve. Supposedly, you were backing Medicare for all. That doesn't seem to be the case. So what are you backing? Let's when one. are we going to see your plan on health care? Are you going to so, have your own plan? I, I, we, I support Medicare for all. Um, I think this is a good plan. And look, I support a lot of plans. Other things that people have come up with when they're good plans, let's do it. This isn't some kind of contest. This is a contest. This is literally a contest. And this reveals what she means by support. Yes. I give support for all sorts of things, but that's not you telling us what you're backing. Ultimately, that's just you saying, I support multiple things. But what that also means that Warren is not necessarily a supporter of Medicare for all, at least not in the sense that we're talking about support. We're talking about support in the sense of backing it and trying to push it into law. She's talking about it only in the sense that, yes, I think it's perfectly okay. It's acceptable to me. 
The catch here is that doesn't allow us to evaluate what Warren is going to push for, and I agree with Harry Reid. She has allowed herself a wide berth to pivot to the right, and ultimately, you will end up accepting something that you otherwise didn't want because she told you repeatedly on a debate stage that she was for the specific bill, Medicare for All, when she wasn't. And other Democrats on that stage is essentially allowed her to go with that, despite the fact that it's not all that true. Warren, however, in this fourth debate, was dogged by a very specific question. Why won't you say whether or not taxes will go up? And she's been, people would say, somewhat dishonest on this. Now, the catch here is she hasn't been dishonest on this. Warren can't answer that question. She can't answer that question for the exact same reason that I said pr prior. She doesn't have a health care bill. How can you answer the question on whether or not taxes would go up if you don't have a bill with which to essentially evaluate whether or not taxes won't go up? And her support for Medicare for All, as she enunciates that on the debate stage, essentially the con is revealed when she can't answer that very specific question. The people on stage think she's being disingenuous. She is. But they think she's being disingenuous in the sense that she supports Medicare for All and yet can't answer an honest question on that front. It's more so that she doesn't have a health care bill herself, and so she can't answer that question because she doesn't have a bill to support one way or the other where she would know. The con is revealed by her inability to answer that question, and none of the people on stage takes her apart for that, essentially making the point that you, this seems to be a somewhat of a dishonest way of running, not telling people what health care plan you're actually supporting. They don't do that. I'm going to show you Warren getting pummeled, as MSNBC calls it. And MSNBC has been in a tank for Warren full-throatedly. I watched this on a debate stage, and I got dirty looks when I was making the point that Warren was being somewhat dishonest. And just the very basic framing that she is with Sanders on his Medicare for All bill, she's not. And gets taken apart with the inability or because of the inability of being able to answer one basic question that for the most part everyone knows in the world is true if indeed you are supporting Medicare for all. Will taxes for the middle class go up? Welcome to the Soapbox.